Hey, and welcome back. This is Reckon It Right. My name's Ryan. Today we're going to talk about stuff. Many outdoor companies often try to sell you gear and supplies that are essential to your trip. Uh, the fact of the matter is, a lot of that gear is gimmicky and not really needed. That's just marketing. But there are a few items that truly can be the difference between life or death. Drinking water. That is an essential thing you are always going to need, no matter what you are doing. So today, we're going to talk about one of the smaller water filters on the market. This guy, the Sawyer Mini. It is pretty self-explanatory, actually. Uh, dirty water goes in one end, and clean water comes out the other. There's a few different ways to use it. One is you could use the bag that it comes with. Simply fill the bag with water, squeeze it through the filter, either right into your mouth or into a cup or another water bottle. Now, there are a few problems with the bag. The biggest one is that these are very hard to fill. If you were to submerge this under water, basically the pressure on the outside of the bag is gonna be greater than the pressure on the inside of the bag and it's not even gonna fill. And another problem with the bags that I have personally had is I'm yet to find one that can stand up to a little bit of abuse. It also screws on to most plastic water bottles that you can find at any grocery store, supermarket, gas station, wherever. This is actually the method that a lot of backpackers and hikers, myself included, use the Sawyer Mini for. It's great. It actually has structure, so if you were to submerge this, it actually fills, and you can buy these water bottles in a variety of sizes, so you can carry as much or as little water as you actually need. There's also the straw method for using the Sawyer, and that's basically exactly what it sounds like. The Sawyer actually comes with a straw attachment, so that way you can fill a cup right from a stream and just drink the water right from the cup via the filter. Or you can just drink right from a stream or lake via the filter. Uh, in my opinion, this is probably the least practical way to use the filter because you need a lot of suction to get the water through the filter. It can also be placed in line for most um, hydration bags. I've seen people do this. A uh, problem with this method is similar to the straw. It's hard to get the proper amount of suction, but at least this way you have a bag that you can squeeze to get you a little bit more pressure to help push the water through the filter. You are going to have to back flush once in a while, and you're gonna do that with this fun little syringe that the Sawyer comes with. Back flushing is very easy. You're just gonna suck up some dirty water through the filter, and then you're just gonna blast it right back through. And that's gonna clear out any dirt or particulates that may have built up in the filter. According to Sawyer, the manufacturers, you're gonna have to back flush about every five to 10 gallons of water that goes through the filter, depending upon the clarity of the water. water filter weighs about two ounces. The syringe weighs about one. So grand total, you're looking at about three ounces worth of weight. And to put that into a little bit of perspective, there are 16 ounces in one pound. It's small, it's lightweight, it's easy to carry, it's easy to use. Even though back flushing sounds like it's gonna be a pain to do, it really isn't, it's simple to do. And also the syringe it comes with has very useful first aid applications as well. The filter can filter 99.9999999, a lot of nines, percent of microbes, and it has a long lifespan. It can filter 100,000 gallons before you're going to need a replacement. The Sawyer only comes with a bag. As I already mentioned, I don't think bags are a reliable way to transport your water. From my experience, they always break or spring leaks after a very short amount of time. So unfortunately, 
it does mean you're probably going to be buying plastic water bottles. So please, please, please just remember to recycle those. Another issue with it is it does not have a very fast water output. So if there's more than one person in your hiking group, it might be a good idea to have one of these per person. More than one person relying on this might not get you enough water. This is a great, small, lightweight little filter. It has a long life. And sure, its output rate isn't very fast, but still it beats waiting a half an hour for water purification tablets to do its trick when you're tired, exhausted, and cursing after a long hike. Thank you so much for watching. This is Reckon It Right. My name's Ryan. Feel free to click subscribe on the bottom somewhere and watch some more of my crap. Have fun out there.